Welcome back to Cut Above Tarot, Leo. Leo. Ooh, Leo. Leo. Oh, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and other placements. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Get in where you fit in, Leo. All right. If you don't find nothing in this video, please check your other placements, and I'll see you there, too. Cruising, viewing, all views are appreciated. Return, subscribe, and thank you for your support. And if you're checking in for a friend, hey, friend. Now, Leo, this is your Who Did a Crime video, okay? Message for the month of November. All right? So let's get to it. They didn't give me a whole lot, but I'm going to tell you what you got. All right? All right, first of all, I want to tell you it was either Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus that did a crime towards Leo in the month of November, all right? So, Leo, they said that you're very <clears throat> conscious about your money, all right? They said that uh, you are very financially conscious. They also said that you're actively saving money. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing, all right? They also saying that you're watching your expenses, okay, and you're being very careful about uh, what works best for you and your money, okay. I understand that perfectly. I do understand that. All right. They also say you got a lot of confidence and you are attracting money into your life, King of Pentacles. All right. All right. They saying you're managing your wealth really good, okay. And you're able to take your visions, your ideas and stuff and translate them, translate them into uh, something tangible, okay? Uh, financially rewarding. Right on, right on, right on. I see that. I see that. Okay? They say you're very practical and you're lucrative, okay? And that you are an ultimate business owners, owner. So you have the potential, the means, as well as the drive to become a business owner. All right? And I know a few, uh, I know a few, uh, Leos that are actually that, all right? However, who did a crime towards you? It looks like it was a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And let's see what we can find out uh, what that means. All right, so tell us uh, why Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus did a crime towards a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus during the month of November, okay? Explain this crime, please. Explain the crime, okay? Mm. Okay, you got the hierophant here. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got the page of cups. All right. All right. Well, that was something that you needed to take care of. Okay, Leo. All right. And because you couldn't make a decision to go ahead on and take care of this, it may have been because out of respect. Okay. All right. Uh, God, divine source, universe, okay, came in and made the only possible decision that that could have been made pertaining to some situation. Well, I'm trying to see. Somebody stabbed you in the back. Somebody did you dirty. Mm -hmm. Somebody left you for dead, so to speak. Somebody did you wrong. Oh, cuz, I don't like that. Okay, so, uh, yeah. All right, looks like, uh, all right, here you are. You're watching your money and stuff, and then you got this, this good news that came in to you in the month of November, okay? All right, somebody either telling you about they having a baby or they had a baby or, or somebody wanted a rebirth or renew or something, start start over with you, okay, or something like that. All right, but here you are trying to watch your fears and stuff. You're trying to, uh, yeah, uh, must up enough strength, you know, to be able to say or do whatever it is because you're trying to overcome these fears, right? So it looks like to me uh, that you, you need to tell somebody a thing or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it looks like to me. All right. So as they said, they said it was a Capricorn Virgo Taurus because those are the two cards that you had. Okay. I just decided I wanted to elaborate on it. Okay. Okay. So Libra, I mean, Leo, you may have had a baby. Okay. All right. And that's what's causing you to uh, sit on your money, being more wise and careful and conscious about how you spend your money. All right. Mm -hmm. You may have a King of Pentacles in your life. Okay. All right, and uh, this King of Pentacles also could be the one, okay, that need to find some strength because uh, your king might be a little fearful, but you don't know about it, okay? All right, trying to stay balanced, all right? Not only that, you got the half in here, okay? The only answer that could, the only outcome that could be done, okay, God, Divine Source, Universe is stepping in, okay? All right, to help, okay? What is it about, okay? Look like you're hashing, you hashing, you rehashing, all right, a message, okay? All right, 
a message that came in to you from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, all right? Okay, okay, and when you got, oh, baby, all right, and when you did that, it put you in uh in the moon energy, okay? Your highs and lows or feeling sometime, and maybe you're a little bipolar, okay? Maybe you just feeling a little melancholic, okay? Okay, mm-hmm, all right, look like, uh, um, there's a queen of cups here, okay? Could be your mommy, okay? Uh, somebody that's nurturing you. You could be the mommy, all right? But the queen of cups normally represents someone, uh, a mother, okay? Uh, of children, a lady that has children, all right? So, all right, so if here's a queen of cups here that's all for your cup of love, okay? All right, yeah, you feel like you, you're tired, baby. You, you don't feel defeated, but you look, you feel like you're tired, and you've always been able to bounce back, okay, Leo? Yeah, that's the saying that you're resilient, okay? All right, so, uh, yeah, you bounced back, and then you took another leap of faith, okay? Because, all right, yeah, you took a leap of faith, okay? Although you was moody or something, you were feeling some kind of way, okay? You still took a leap of faith, and you took this adventure, okay? Looked like you took a trip or something, all right? And this is during the month of November, okay? All right, so what is the outcome of this trip that uh Leo is taking in the month of November? Okay, you got the Knight of Wands here. Well, this Knight of Wands try to come out in reverse. Let's see uh, if this here speaks about reverse. All right. Yeah, we got it. Okay, it talks about the well, reverse. Reverse, reverse. What's going on, my lips? Reverse. <laughs> okay, in reverse, in reverse it says, you may be acting impulsively and trying to accomplish everything at one time, Leo. This may work in a short term, but long term, you could end up burning yourself out or not achieving your goals. Okay? That's so you need to constructively channel this build-up energy that you have within. Constructively channel this build-up energy that you have within. In other words, don't take it all and just get yourself out there and burn out and then be after the time that you're so tired you can't even take a breath. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, Leo. All right, I hope I was able to give you some some very good information that you'll be able to utilize. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. There it is again, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. All right, all right, saying so you're gonna uh you're gonna be okay. All right, yeah, all right. You're gonna be very content when it comes to your money or this Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Okay, all right, it's gonna be very content with whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, for them, or yeah. All right, so, all right, Leo, all right, like I say, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and comment button, and hit that notification button to make sure that you know next time a Cut Above Tarot goes live, we'll put out more contents, okay, all right, and check out that join button, y'all, check it out, I like to read your comments, too, yeah, yeah.